Good morning and welcome viewers. On the occasion of the International Museum Day, Billa Industrial and Technological Museum have organized a presentation by the former Deputy Director General of National Council of Science Museums, Dr. Jayanta Stanapati, and he will be speaking on the theme set by ICOM for this year's International Museum Day, which is in keeping with the COVID-19 situation prevailing in the country. And the topic goes like this, the future of the museums recover and reimagine. I would now like to request our director, Sri V.S. Ramachandran, Director of Billa Industrial and Technological Museum, who will say a few words about the International Museum Day and introduce the speaker to the audience. Mr. Ramachandran, please. Welcome, viewers. I am Ramachandran, Director, Birla Industrial and Technological Museum. International Council of Museums, ICOM, is organizing International Museum Day every year since 1977. This year, the theme is the future of museums, recovery and reimagine. We have got a very distinguished speaker today, Dr. Jantha Sanapadi, who was the former director of Birla International Technological Museum. Dr. Sanapadi started his service career in BATM under NCSM as a curator in 1978. He served NCSM for 33 long years and he was the Deputy Director General of National Council of Science Museum also. He had earned a PhD in science, a degree in physics from University of Calcutta in 1984 and a PhD in arts degree in history from Jadavpur University in 2013. Dr. Chanabadi had also worked in the history of science projects as a research associate and as a project investigator under the sponsorship of the Indian National Science Academy. He has over 50 publications to his credit. So today we have got a very distinguished and eminent speaker. I welcome you, sir, on behalf of the ATM Kolkata. Hello, viewers. Today, on 18th May 2021, we observe International Museum Day mostly from our homes, as many of the Indian cities are under partial or complete lockdown. At the outset, I thank Sri V. S. Ramachandran, Director, Birla Industrial and Technological Museum, for giving me this opportunity to speak on this year's theme, The Future of Museums recover and reimagine. My presentation is aimed at a mixed audience, including students, teachers, and museum professionals, and hence will give a general description of museums, their spread, function, difficulties being faced in the current COVID-19 situation and on the possible ways out from the challenging situation. The observation of International Museum Day began in 1992 with the theme museums and environment the themes in the past years were quite simple for example it was museum and memory objects tell our story in 2011 the theme of IMD this year is the future of museums recover and reimagine. So, 
we will focus on rethinking the museum of the future to meet the challenges of the present. A museum is defined as a non-profit permanent institution in the service of society and its development. It is open to public. It acquires, conserves, researches, communicates, and exhibits the tangible and intangible heritage of humanity and its environment for the, for the purposes of education, study, and enjoyment. Now, there are 60,000 museums approximately in the world. The number includes 660 museums in India. Museums fall broadly under the categories like art, archaeology, history, science, and technology. The Indian Museum Kolkata opened in 1814, is the first museum in our country. And the Birla Industrial and Technological Museum, Kolkata, established in 1959, is the first major science museums in India. In my presentation, I will mainly focus on science and technology museums in India. The International Council of Museums or ICOM in short was founded 75 years ago in Paris. It is devoted to the promotion and development of museums and the museum profession. ICOM is a non-governmental organization and ICOM has around 17,000 members in 140 countries. The map shows the distribution of museums worldwide as was in 2020. We now move on to the next slide. The map shows the worldwide spread of COVID-19 cases in last seven days of May 2020. You will find here that the map is colored by different colors from white, then yellow, then orange, then deep orange, and uh, a then finally maroon, indicating that number of COVID-19 cases in last seven days of May in different parts of the world. The USA and Brazil had the maximum number of cases over 1 lakh in those seven days. The COVID-19 cases in India on 31st May 2020 was also alarming. We had a total of 1,82,143 infected persons and 5,164 deceased by that time. We'll now study the impact of COVID-19 on museums worldwide. In May 2020, ICOM had conducted a survey involving museums from 107 countries. 
the survey revealed some harsh consequences. 85% museums were temporarily closed by that time. While 7.3% of museum staff worked on site, 60.1% worked from home. 6.6% of staff were on leave and 26% were laid off. The museums lost revenue from the sale of tickets and retail items. Museums also suffered due to lower public and private funding. And obviously, normal museum activities stopped. But digital activities and communication enhanced during the closure of the museums. And for obvious reasons, the security expenses increased for these museums to protect their items, artifacts and heritage. Many science museums in North America and Europe were closed temporarily. I'm giving you only four examples here. The Exploratorium in San Francisco, the top left image, is closed even now. Ontario Science Center, Toronto, bottom left, is also closed. The Science Museum London top right is closed but will open from tomorrow. Deutsches Museum in Munich bottom right was closed until May 10, 2021. Now let us see what is the picture in India. All museums in India are closed now. It includes 69 science and technology museums. Science and technology museum means the science centers, science museums and science cities. And most of them are either functioning under the National Council of Science Museums or are developed by this council. The map shows the distribution of most of the science and technology museums in India. So you find almost the entire country, the science museums are closed now. The two images are of National Science Center, New Delhi, have a deserted look. And at the bottom, the science city, Kolkata, which is also closed for visitors. As you know that in India, all the museums were closed from 16th of March 2020 to 9th November 2020. The museums opened their doors for a brief period of few months from 10th November 2020 to 15 April 2021. Now they are closed again from 16th of April. Here we compare with the help of two bar graphs, the visitors footfall at BITM on the left and Science City Kolkata during the financial year 2019 to 20, 2019 to 20 and 2020, 21. 
In case of BITM, you will find that even after opening of the museum, the footfall was quite low during the month of December 2020, January, February and March 2021 compared to the visitors footfall of the previous year. But in case of Science City, we find that the footfall during December was low compared to the previous year, but from January, February, it picked up. And in March, it was more than the previous year's figure. So this shows that the people were very keen to come out of their home and instead of going to BITM, they preferred to go to the Science City because it has more entertaining activities. A very important point is the loss of revenue in all the science museums which are under NCSM. I am giving you only one example. The Science City which runs on its revenue was affected severely during the year 2021. Its revenue generation during 2021 is only one third compared to that of the previous year 2019-20. Now let us see what were the major activities of Indian Science Museums, particularly under NCSM, during the closure. The most important thing is they enhanced, all of them enhanced, the presence in digital platforms. Here, on the top left, we are showing a picture of a lecture by Professor R.A. Mashilkar, FRS, and former DG, uh, CSIR, on the occasion of National Science Day, organized by Nehru Science Center on 28 February 2021. All the museums under NCSM, they organized various uh, vacation hobby camps, workshop, lectures, and many other things film shows and we, NSC Mumbai even published a science mail, a newsletter during this period. Exhibit development is a major and important activity of all science museums under the National Council of Science Museums. It involves curators, educational staff, technicians, and indirectly administrative staff, financial staff, everybody. So the museums are busy throughout the year in creating new exhibits. Here we are comparing the exhibit development figures in respect of Science City and BITM for the years 2019 to 2020 and 2020 to 2021. While Science City made uh, 114 in the previous year, they made quite less number, that is 53, but you have to keep in mind that the museum was opened only for a few months. BITM previously created 85 exhibits and during 2021 only 36 exhibits. BITM installed some significant exhibits I am mentioning here only. BITM installed a giant magic water tap in its campus which was built during the period of museum closure. They also added a few new facilities at the Sikkim Science Center in Gangtok and even completed a new science center at Borgod in Odisha.
here is a list of online educational activities conducted by BITM during 2021. But the picture is same in respect of all the major science and technology centers functioning under the National Council of Science Museums. There are nine in numbers briefly or broadly. BITM organized online workshop for students, summer science camp, teachers training program, science shows, popular science lectures, observation of special days, observation of important celestial events, film shows, and competitions like quiz, essay, painting, and so on. Some leading science museums abroad are conducting awareness projects and programs relating to COVID-19 pandemic situation. The Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. is providing online guidance on COVID-19. How can I protect myself and others? This is the theme. Palais de la Science in France developed an online exhibition titled Coronavirus, What Science Knows. Science Museum London has initiated collection of COVID-19 materials. These are a few examples. while humanity combats with the present COVID-19 pandemic. UNESCO and ICOM are concerned about the grave situation in which museums of the world are now. Bereft of visitors and consequently revenue, museums are in a dilemma regarding their future modus operandi. Is there a meaningful path anywhere? Let us know what some key science museum professionals, including the present presenter, think. I have interacted with three persons quite a few times. They are Sri V. S. Ramachandran, Director BITM, Sri Shubhabrata Choudhury, Director Science City, and Sri Shiva Prasad M. Kenneth, Director Nehru Science Center, Mumbai, on this issue. And we are presenting our suggestions collectively. We suggest following activities for the science museums in the current situation. Activities to continue. Development of new exhibits for museums, galleries and exhibition as we have been doing for several years. Updation of museum galleries. Modification of exhibits for touch-free operation. This is a new activity. BITM has modified many of its exhibits for touch-free operation. That means the visitor is not required to press a button to make an exhibit operational. The virtual museum projects which NCSM has initiated should continue. Online educational activities as we have elaborated in the previous slides should continue. Documentation of exhibits on display, on display and in stores should continue. 
further maintenance and upgradation of firefighting and surveillance devices should also go hand in hand. We have suggested a few activities, but it covers many of the activities, details of which we have not elaborated here because of shortage of time. Online demonstration of star exhibits by narrators. There are many star exhibits in each national level science centers, which are artifacts, which are linked to various leaders of our country, scientists of our countries, as for example, the recording machine in BITM, which was used for the first time to record the recitation of Rabindranath Thakur. Publishing reports online on innovative projects by participants of innovation hubs. Survey on impact of exhibitions and activities of the museums involving its users. And there is another point which has been mentioned by us that NCSM should charge fees from public and private bodies for developing science museum for them. However, there can be many more suggestions on these issues and definitely we'll get more and more views in this regard. And finally, the museum as well as the humanity are masked now. We believe that we shall overcome someday but we need to work collectively to unmask the museum. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sanapati, for your opinions and views. I hope the audience have enjoyed this presentation and has got some ideas about the present scenario of the museums, not only in India, but some important museums all over the world. And uh, I hope that uh, in future also, we will have Dr. Stanapati in our program. And uh, in this respect, if uh, there is a there is any questions from the audience i would request them to kindly mail it to the email id which we will be giving you at the uh, in, the, in the screen after this program and uh, you can send the mail to dr sanapati and we will request him to answer them as far as possible thank you everyone for your patience and thank you again Dr. Jayanta Sanapati for your time. Thank you all.